You know what's crazy? I'm visiting my parents doing my routine strolls through one of the many guitar centers in Dallas. At this point, my eyes just glaze over every Strat and Les Paul on the wall. So basically 95% of the store. I'm walking through the youth section, which typically has the more interesting stuff, and I almost walk away, then something catches my eye. What the fuck is that? So apparently Kramer makes Les Pauls. I gotta be real with you guys, Les Pauls are just not my thing. If anything, I need my guitar to be like less bassy and not have a neck that literally reminds me of a closet dowel rod. But when I saw this Kramer hanging on the used rack, I was like, dude, I have to try this. This is the Kramer Assault 220, and I think they've been making these for a while. Uh, ever since Gibson bought Kramer sometime around then. It's not a new model by any means, but they've had some slight updates to the design over the years. I mean, honestly, check out the fucking crazy color scheme they have here. Like, for the price, the red and black looks ridiculously good. That's why it immediately caught my eye at Guitar Center. The inlays are also, like, really neat and, like, unique to this guitar, too. They look like little shark fins that were squished sideways. As you probably noticed right off the bat, it's equipped with a routed Floyd Rose, and it's actually a licensed Floyd. This is like one of the most obvious, like notable features because most Les Pauls have fixed bridges. But while sort of rare, Les Pauls with Floyd Roses are nothing really new. There's the FRX Tremolo, which most people know about because that will literally retrofit to pretty much any Les Paul, which honestly looks like ass. There's also a few oddballs like the Epiphone Alex Lifeson signature, uh, which has a built-in routed Floyd, and that's supposed to be pretty good, but it's $1,300, so yeah. I have been insanely impressed with this Floyd. I, you know, I know that Floyds really show their differences over a long stretch of time, but in the two months that I've had this Floyd, it has really performed just like any other Floyd that I've had and easily comparable to the Floyd in my JK-8000, which is an original Floyd Rose. The springs it comes with are fairly light duty as well, which makes it like the perfect tension for the 838s I put on all my guitars. The pickups that Kramer says are in here are these like generic Alnico 5 pickups that they made. Um, to me, they sound a lot like the classic Samer Duncan 59 tone, which is what I'm pretty sure they're meant to be cloned after. So Kramer actually makes another Les Paul called the Assault Plus, and it's over double the price of the 220 at $830. And this one I have right here is the Bangle Burst. You'll notice right away it's got some big differences aesthetically, uh, most notably being the headstock, which is reverse and six in line, and I think bears the most resemblance to the Kramer Night Swan headstock. The hardware definitely is better just in general. Uh, it comes with the Samer JB in the bridge, a JN in the neck, and a Floyd Rose 1000. The three-way pickup selector is in the classic position, which some people may like and some people may not like. The Assault Plus also has this maple fretboard, which may be a benefit if that's something you actually care about. But other than that, they're both satin guitars, they both have mahogany bodies, and they both have the same tuners. And on Kramer's website, they say that uh, there's a difference in the shape of the neck, but they're absolutely not. They're the exact same shape of neck, but they call them two different things on the 
the website. I'm not totally sure why that is. That's not the first time I've seen Kramer like call necks different things when they're actually just the same. The Floyd Rose Springs on the Assault Plus actually feel a little bit heavier duty than the ones on the 220. So here's where my personal preference gets really weird. I actually enjoy playing the 220 more. I know, the cheaper one. And here's why. Uh, the Assault Plus actually has jumbo frets, which I've always found to be more of a hindrance than a benefit. I really like to feel the fretboard under my strings when I finger notes on the guitar. And obviously the taller the frets, you're gonna have more issues with that. Also the taller the frets, just for the action that I set gives me more problems. And that's just a personal preference. It doesn't mean you can't refret it. That doesn't mean that you are stuck with it forever. But from the factory, it comes with jumbo frets. And personally, I prefer the frets that are much shorter on the 220. So by virtue of the 220 having shorter frets, it wins my preference on that front. The 220 also has lighter duty springs, which I love. And it just feels looser as a whole for whatever reason. Look, if you're trying to dip your toes in the Les Paul world and you want a really great playing guitar that's like the super strat equivalent of the Les Paul, and you don't want to spend a lot of money, the 220 is such a great freaking value for your money. I can't recommend this enough if you are looking for a Les Paul. It's just such a great playing Les Paul and with the routed foils and everything for what you're paying is such a great value. But if you're really trying to go all out and get your Les Paul on and you have more money to spend and want nicer hardware, the Salt Plus is actually a great value too. It's easily better than any of the nicer Epiphone Les Pauls that I've played. And of course, it's coming from like a shredder's perspective, but I don't think anybody wants a guitar that's hard to play on purpose. So I got some bad news. Um, in between me getting this guitar and filming this video, Kramer actually decided to discontinue the 220. Yeah, I really have no idea why, because this guitar has like a cult following online of people who know how good of a guitar it is for the price. And it seems like they updated it recently too with the new Kramer logo instead of the old one. So like they did stuff recently to it. So Kramer, if you're watching this, can you please bring this guitar back? Like if you have to raise the price, I get it. Like inflation's a bitch. It sucks to raise prices on our guitars. But like, I think people would still buy this at like 429. 450 460 I think people would totally buy this and it would still be a great value at that price so come on Kramer just bring it back like it's it's totally worth it if you're interested in picking up the Assault Plus Kramer is not discontinuing this guitar Zounds currently has them for $829 and if you look in the description of this video you can find affiliate links that really 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 help me out if you use them